Yeah. Doing great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Who was it? My mother knows. Oh, we, okay. we were cleaning out her house, and Mike and her brothers got up in the attic, trying to go and figure everything. We found this whole box. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. So the majority of the collection that you guys see behind me, I have primarily gotten at secondhand shops like thrift stores, garage sales, and flea markets. I love this stuff so much, but I don't want to just hop on eBay uh, and, and just buy it on there, guys. I want to find this stuff out in the wild, uh, and today, the Retro Hunt actually came to us. All right, I'm gonna try to backtrack and go through all uh, of the details. Um, but basically, my wife's best friend's grandmother uh, recently passed away. Super sad, guys. Anytime we lose a family member, a loved one, no matter how how young or how old, uh, it's always it's always super sad. Um, but but they were going through all of her stuff. Uh, I guess getting ready for like an estate sale uh, or something, and they came across something that um, they knew that I would really like. Another tip, guys, tell everybody about your your crazy obsession uh, of either video games or toys. I'm assuming if you're watching this kind of content, um, you are into, you're into 80s and 90s nostalgia. Um, but because I do that, because people know of my, my side hobby, um, they know that I like toys and games, right? Um, so they reach out to me and they're, they're like, listen, we found a bunch of 80s and 90s toys a lot of which are brand new, like they had never been opened before, and we just wanted to know if you would be potentially interested. And I'm like, I mean, you have you have my attention uh, for sure. Uh, so uh, I tell them to send me some pictures. So I wait like a week or two, and I don't ever hear anything back from them uh, or even get any pictures. So I'm not trying to like push the situation or anything. I mean, it's already like a tough family situation. Um, but she actually texts me back. So my uh, my wife's best friend's mom texts me back and says, hey, are you interested in any of those toys? And I'm like, yeah, can you send me some pictures? I kind of reiterate, can you send me some pictures? She had never sent me the pictures. She never she never pressed send, right? So I, I didn't get them. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I, never, I never actually sent them to you. So she ends up sending them to me and I'm like, dang, there is some good stuff in here, guys. Uh, in particular, some TMNT figures that are brand new, like they've never been opened and they're from the 80s. Now, I will tell you this guys, I'm no toy expert. I'm not a video game expert either, but I, I definitely am more educated in retro video games, you know, um, just collecting the value of games. Now toys, I just kind of like to collect. I don't know what things are worth, if it's new, if it's not new, if it's rare, I, I don't know, but I have friends that do know. So I reached out to three guys, they all have um, YouTube channels, so go check them out. Uh, Ed from Ed's Retro Geek Out, not another retro channel, called Narc, and Greco Fabulous. So I reach out to all three of those guys in like a text thread, and I'm like, hey guys, here are some pictures of this stuff, what do you think? Like, what's this stuff potentially worth? What's a fair price to offer her? There's also a bunch of other toys too that I'm not sure what's in there. And, and, and they're going through it and they're like, you know, there's a couple things you need to look out for. I'm not gonna get into that now. I wanna get into that later whenever we actually have um, the toys with us. But they gave me some, some really good advice and I ended up offering her $240 for everything, which may seem like a lot of money, but uh, I think uh, I think it was a super fair offer for her. She was happy to just get rid of it and not have to deal with it. Uh, and um, I get to add it to the collection. So guys, some really sweet stuff. We're about to get into the footage of me actually picking it up. And then we're gonna go through everything together for the first time. Uh, but before we do that, guys, if you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that freaking subscribe button. Every single Monday and Thursday, we're coming out with new nostalgic type videos, and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into this pickup. How are you? How are you? I'm doing great. Good. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just got done with work. Just got done with work. 
Well, I got Corey Bill going on in here too, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we understand. You know that feeling, don't you? We understand that life. I figured you feel pretty much at home, you know? <laughs> oh, man. So, do you know, like, who's I was, who's I was, stories on this. who's I mean, was it? My mother-in-law's. Okay. You know, and you guys had? Oh, we, okay. we were cleaning out her house, and Mike and one of his brothers got up there in the attic and started going through everything. We found this whole box. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if it was, like, maybe... You know, I don't know if she was buying them for... Right. That's what I was going to say. Maybe or, they're, like, gifts. You, you know, I don't... I don't... And I don't then, they, then they just got, like, stuck upstairs in the attic or something? Or either she just thought... Maybe they might be, you know, collectibles one day or something. Was that, was that in her nature to collect not stuff really, at all? Not really, which really surprised us, you know. Yeah, this is like, this is my childhood. Um, yeah. Probably your, probably your Drew, son's yeah, too, Drew's I was going to say. Drew's got a, I've got a huge box in the attic. Drew's got all, you know, they're all out of the box and played with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ro, uh, my son plays with these now. Well, that's why I had to put this. this thing on the garage because Olivia came over here and I thought, oh, I got to move this box. She'll be going in here and opening it all. Oh, yeah. Stuff, you know. There's a bunch of other stuff in there, too. Wow. And I know, I know a few of them are like, you know, things, but they're kind of cool. They're like the Flintstones. Yes. Uh, I don't know, like several Flintstones. That's awesome. You said 240 was good, too, right? I paid you through yeah, the app. Yeah, Okay, yeah, great. Let's business. make sure you got it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, all right, y'all. We are back in the game room about to go through this beautiful box of retro goodness guys this stuff was up in the attic since like the early 90s even uh potentially late 80s with some of these figures guys so much new stuff like new mcdonald's toys uh i think burger king toys toy story stuff guys we're gonna go through it all uh just a heads up it's super late right now it's like 10 30 10 45 and my daughter is in the next room sleeping right now and she has been waking up all the time <laughs> during the middle of the night so if i have to pause it's because she is screaming and she needs something so just a heads up all right let's get into this so first up we have a bobby's world toy do you guys remember bobby's world Loved that show uh, growing up as a kid. Here is a astronauts thing. McDonald's astronaut toy. I don't remember that. You guys tell me down below if you see anything super nostalgic. I want to know what's what's the most nostalgic thing in here that you guys are seeing. The Flintstones Happy Meal toy. Okay. I'm going to fly through some of these McDonald's toys kind of quick. Here's a Mickey. Here is, oh, I remember this, the Snow White and uh, kind of like the Seesaw Snow White Dwarves thing. Uh, oh, I remember this, Tiny Toons, and I'm pretty sure, does his head flip? Head flip down or something? I think so. Here's a Batman toy, okay. <laughs> Just his head popping out. Here is a Goofy, he's neat. Here is a Tonka truck. I don't know if there's you. Uh, 94. So basically so far, all this stuff has been more like 94 or so. Um, here is, ooh, Nickelodeon blimp. Collect all four game gadgets. Welcome to Name That Happy Meal. Thank you. Name That Happy Meal becomes an it clapper or this microphone. Huh? It's McDonald's Nickelodeon Happy Meal. Each one you buy comes with one of four fine prizes. Thanks, you've been great to test it. That's cool. I don't know if I remember that either. I do have an old Nickelodeon blimp somewhere. Here it is. I think this was to one of the figures. Get that out of here. All right, here is a Toy Story Rex figure by Thinkway. Uh, I'm pretty sure Thinkway was the first brand to make Toy Story figures. The reason why I know that is because I really like polstering dolls, which is a strange thing to say, um, but I do. I have an Ernest, I have a Pee Wee, and I also have an Urkel doll. And I wanted to add to the collection and get uh, the Toy Story Woody doll, like the original from 95, 96, and Thinkway makes them, and they are crazy expensive. 
uh, holler at your boy if you have one and you want to uh, potentially sell it. I would love to um, maybe buy it off of you. So that's cool. I don't see a date. I don't see a date anywhere. All right, here is another plastic thing. Cabbage patch. I know you guys want to see that. We're going to talk about that, but I'm not, I don't want to yet. I'm going to go through some of this stuff. Jurassic Park figure. Um, I never really got big into collecting Jurassic Park toys. If you want info on Jurassic Park toys, one of my favorite channels um, on toys is a channel called Lara Legends. So next up, we have a whole bunch of comics. We actually have the entire set of the Jurassic Park Tops comics for the first film. She has a great channel and she is super knowledgeable on Jurassic Park stuff. Go check it out, y'all. Here is another Bobby's World toy. We are probably gonna run out of space really quick over here. Okay, here is a little Sonic. I actually think I have that somewhere. Here is, ooh, Back to the Future. Doc's DeLorean, my favorite movie of all time and I can't even see it. Looks like there's some clear plastic action going on there. That's cool. Kinda wanna open that up. What is this? Oh, I remember this too. Sound effect machine, yes. And it had like different things you could like crank and spin and yes. Another Jurassic Park figure. Neat, I think, yeah, there's some accessories in there. Whoa, that's cool. Um, another accessory. Here is a Flintstones toy, Bolin Bedrock. Let's see, here is a attack pack. I don't know this. 94, uh, here, let's just look at this real quick. Here is a Buzz. Um, I don't have a buzz that small, so that's cool. I have like the really large figure. I have probably medium size, I don't know, five inch figure. So this, this, this one's cool, man. Ooh, he's bendable. Well, that's cool. So there is buzz. And then here is Woody. Oh, I just love, I love the old Walmart, uh, sticker. Can you imagine trying to bring this back to Walmart and being like, Hey man, can I, can I bring this back? Get some in-store credit. And they're like, um, sir, this is from 26 years ago. Uh, I don't care. Give me 276. It's late, guys. Very late. I'm very tired. But we're going to go through this stuff. Astronaut's toy again. Nobody cares. Here's another one of the Flintstones toys. Um, here is another accessory and a dwarf here. Oh. Y'all, y'all, theory confirmed. I really thought she doesn't collect. I mean, she didn't collect stuff. Um, she didn't collect toys, yet she had all these brand new toys. I said as gifts, this is old looking gift bags. Here's the Little Mermaid and a Mickey one, I think. I think theory confirmed, man. I mean, I don't know why else she would have had all this stuff, but had to be. Snow White, almost through all of the McDonald's stuff. Here is more Snow White accessory. Ooh, ooh, a pin, a pin. Disney Polynesian Resort. I collected pins back in the day. So I got them from my movie store and they would have like the promo pin of like, I don't know, Little Giants or Mighty Ducks or something. And I would always ask for them. And the owner was so sweet. She was like, oh, she she would save them for me. And she'd give me, give me pins. Are pins still cool? These used to be huge. And now kids just want to play with their dumb iPhones. Let's see, Snow White, more Snow White. Here is a, what we got here? What is this? Stone Warriors? Gargoyles, okay. Stone Warriors Gargoyles, nice. Um, here is another Snow White figure. Here's a cassette. Oh. Nah, fail. Basketball 
Basketball Jones. Basketball Jones was my jam. I, I love this album, y'all. I actually had, do you remember back in the day when you could get a CD or a cassette that would have literally one song, maybe two on it? I had the Space Jam one. Um, uh, let's look at these figures. Let's do it. Let's look at them. So, uh, again, I am no expert in terms of toys, so I had to reach out to my buddies, Narc, Greco Fabulous, and Ed uh, from Ed's Retro Geek Out. Great channels. Go check it out. And they told me a couple things to look for. So apparently, uh, if a figure is new and hasn't been opened, it's called on card on card. I'm learning. I'm learning a lot. So what's cool about this is it's brand new on card with its Walmart sticker. Love that. But it's unpunched, meaning that little that little guy right there where you would put it like up onto um, a hook to, you know, stack like 12 of these. It's never been punched, which is apparently a little more rare, like it never even got put out on you know the floor of a walmart or uh, something I'm, i don't know how you would explain that but it's never been punched before so that's a little bit more desirable and the other thing they told me to look for was to turn it over on the back and to see first off what year 19 1988 because this is 33 years old and then to kind of distinguish what series uh, it came out uh, again, I, I, this is just what they told me, and I trust them, is look on the back, and if there's all 10 of the figures, it's called a 10-back. On card, unpunched, 10-back. I'm learning. And I think these are some of the new, or the, the original release figures, which is super cool, man. Uh, I'm just glad to have saved them from potentially getting thrown away. I mean, you guys know, somebody could have easily have looked at this in an attic and been like, what's this junk? 33 year old figures, nobody cares about this and then throw them away. Oh, thank God, thank God they did not. So I think these are some of the original figures. Uh, and we have, I think we have six of them. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, five of them. So here's Donatello looking cool, a little bit of a crease there and some, some bendage there. I'm pretty sure I don't need to even mess with that and try to bend it back, but that's cool. Here is here is April O'Neil with a really weird looking face. I don't know what happened to her. I'm afraid. I'm afraid for her. Uh, look at all the look at all the weaponry in there. You got your accessories. This one is really bent too. I don't care though. I, I just want to display them probably over here on the shelf. Um, but there are a couple, like this one right here, that I saw were in a little bit better shape. This one's, so we actually have two Donatellos. We don't have a Leonardo. So I think we have all of them except for Leonardo. This one's really clean. So I've actually thought about maybe getting these graded. Grading is huge right now. Uh, obviously cards, it's always been big. Even video games, getting like sealed games. Uh, people are even getting like complete in box games graded. That's kind of weird to me, but I mean, I guess I kind of get it. Um, and then people are getting their toys graded. The reason why it's good to do that is because you get to preserve history. It gets encapsulated into this really hard, you know, durable plastic, and then they grade it. They literally get, um, you know, magnifying glasses out and they rate this thing out of a 10. And it's just kind of cool, man. Can you imagine getting this back in a really cool case and say it gets like a 9.2 or something? I don't know what the grading scale is, but something like that. And then my son can never open it up because he's always in here messing with my toys, my collectibles. Um, so I just think it'd be cool to maybe get a couple of these graded. You guys tell me down below what you would do. Um, and there's a couple different grading options for toys. Uh, I can't even think of what they are right now, but um, Greco. Uh, told me a couple different ones. So really cool to get this one. And here is the Mikey. Michelangelo is my favorite TMNT. Man, he just, he's cool, man. He was the party guy, always eating pizza. Please, please, huh? a moment to reflect. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. 
you know, living his best life, man. And here is Raf. Raf's pretty clean as well. Just a little bit of bendage there. So, man, that is amazing, guys. I mean, <laughs> these these are what sold me were those were those team and T figures. Okay, guys, getting down to the end. Some more accessories. I'm pretty sure the little dino goes with a Jurassic Park figure. Oh man. Guys, Chippendale. It's one of my favorite shows, and I love the games. This button is clean. I love it. I love how 80s, 90s that looks, man. I'm the guy that would like literally put this on my jean jacket and just walk around and be like, what up, y'all? Got my Chippendale button. I don't think buttons are popular anymore. They should be. Buttons are cool. Here's another one. Roger Rabbit. Here is another one. A lot of these Flintstone little cars like here's another one brand new never opened uh jurassic park figure whoa he is a serious guy look at that accessory our our table is completely full at this point here are two more mcdonald's toys i'm getting kind of over the mcdonald's toys cabbage patch and a cabbage patch uh another toy more accessories down here and then another Jurassic Park. My gosh, there's a bunch in here. You guys tell me down below if those are valuable in any way, especially with the accessories, because it looks like they have at least most of their accessories. Animaniacs. Here are some mugs. Let's look at these mugs. Ooh. Wally Coyote Thermos. Walmart 1994 <laughs> Collectors Series. That is cool. Here's another one. And I'm already seeing Taz. Taz is my dude. Ooh, that is clean, man. I'm the guy. All right. I'm just telling you guys. I'm the guy that would take this to work. Fill it up with coffee. My beverage of choice in the morning. Walk into a, a meeting and just sit down and just just act like a boss. And people are like, what are you, what are you doing, Rick? Grow up. Grow up, man. Like I ain't growing up. Never going to grow up. I like my Taz Thermos. Leave me alone. Sticking with uh, beverage holders, <laughs> here are some of these old Disney. I'm pretty sure this is McDonald's, right? No, Burger King. These were Burger King. All their favorites, just 89 cents each with any Whopper value meal. Daddy, are you Mommy's Prince Charming? Burger King, get your burgers worth. Collect all eight classes. Do you guys remember this? Uh, I think we have... We have four, we have four of the eight. So we got Pinocchio, we have Aladdin, oh, man. Colors look great because it's new, it's never been used, just sealed up in an attic for 30 years or however long, what, what year was this? Uh, I, I, I gotta know years, I love years. 94, so this is 27 years old, guys. I love the Aladdin movies, I actually really like uh, Return of Jafar, probably unpopular opinion, but that was the one I watched the most. Here is a Beauty and the Beast one. I remember this one specifically. I think my sister had that. And then here is a Peter Pan one. Completely out of space on the table. You guys see my my sweet socks and sandals? I'm dad life in it right now. All about that dad life. Oh, okay, okay. This is an old McDonald's Happy Meal box. Um, the ones I, you know, really, really know and love are the Mario ones. Uh, Mario Three. They look really cool. I'd love to get them and put put them up on the shelf and display them proudly. But I don't honestly don't care about the Snow White one. I mean, don't have any place to put it. Here is a Flintstones tin. I was always a, I'm always been a fan of like containers. I like to, you know, use this as a chain holder, chain holder, change holder or something. Seems to be empty. Class of 89 button. That's pretty dope. Here is another Animaniac toy. More accessories. Uh, a leaf. A penny. Y'all. So we did not spend 240, we spent 
$39.99. Dad jokes and dad sandals. I'm a boss, right? Little Mermaid pin. Uh, here are two more Jurassic Park guys. And then a tin that has, oh, whoa, McDonald's, McDonald's uh, bags. Like you get like your fries in. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this. Oh yeah, guys, I have these over here with my uh, with my Batman glasses. There's one of the Flintstones glasses. I have quite a few of them at this point, but that's cool. I'm assuming these are all probably the Bat or the Flintstones ones. I'll just open one more. Yep, looks like they're the Flintstones ones. So I won't bother with the other two unless I get done filming this and open them and there's something different but whoa 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 i love it i love it i'm so glad this stuff did not get thrown out and i get to keep it display it proudly i'm ha i'm happy that she's happy she's able to get rid of this stuff and not have to deal with it and not have to like list anything and i'm happy to uh add some more pieces to the collection honestly there's a lot in here i don't really care about the toy story figures are kind of cool but, I mean, you can't really display that in any way. Um, don't know if there's any value. If there's value there, maybe I'll, I'll sell them or something. And if there's not, I'll probably just give them to my son. Uh, I really don't care. It's really the turtles. The turtles are what, are what put me over. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted those, and I know that there's probably 240 or, or more in value. Again, you guys tell me down below. Um, the Jurassic Park figures are cool. Don't really have any Jurassic Park stuff, so uh, maybe that'll be a new collection that I start, and then... Uh, these mugs are pretty sweet too, but definitely my favorite thing was the turtles. Guys, what an amazing haul for $240. Again, may seem like a lot, but I'm super happy with it. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with the turtles. I may get a couple of them graded. I probably will at, at some point just to encapsulate them uh, and make sure they never get uh, messed up or opened by my son because he's always opening up <laughs> my, my toys, my vintage collectibles, right? Um, but you guys tell me down below what was your favorite thing that I found or maybe the most nostalgic thing that was in this lot. Guys, as always, thank you for hanging out. For watching the video if you would like the video it helps out so much subscribe if you have not already and until next time peace